In this video, we're going to have a look at the polar form of the complex number and how to convert between rectangular form and polar form. Now, let me go back to the previous lesson on the Argon diagram. And you remember we looked at the complex plane. You had the real axis and the imaginary axis. And then we found a vector, what I said is a vector, uh, which represents the complex number. Now, if we look at this vector, you'll see that this has a length, right, from the origin up until this point here. And there's also an angle. If we use the real axis as your zero degrees, you'll see that that is your angle there. So it gives a direction. So any, anything that has length and direction would be a vector. Okay, the length of this vector here we're going to call r. And you can convert the complex number into r and theta. Okay, so let's see how we do that. Okay, now let's say we have a complex number equals x plus y, j, and that, you recall, is what we call rectangular form. Okay, we can put that onto an argon diagram. If we draw it like this, you have the row axis and you have your imaginary axis. Okay, and we said the row part is your value there, your imaginary part will be your value here, right? And if you connect these two, you will get something that looks like this. Okay, now the length of that line we're going to call R, and that angle which gives a direction is theta. Okay, that means that the length on this side is going to be y, and this length here is going to be x. Right? That angle is also 90 degrees, which is important because it means that we can use the theorem of Pythagoras. And using the theorem of Pythagoras, you can find the value of r. Okay, so you'd be able to find the length of that. You can also find what theta is. Right, by using your trigonometric ratios. But what I want to do first is I want to convert that z equals x plus y j to be in terms of r and theta. Right? So I'm going to use trig ratios to do that. So if I have x over r is going to be I'm standing here, you've got adjacent over your hypotenuse, which is going to be cos of theta. That means that x is r cos theta. Right? y over r is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is going to be sine of theta. And that means that your y value is going to be r sine theta. So if I take the complex number in rectangular form and I now substitute the values of x and y, you're going to get z r cos theta plus j r sine theta, which can be written as r cos theta plus j sine theta, right? And this is what we call polar form, right? That is called polar form. And there's a shorthand for this. You can write it as r, and it's a little thing that looks like that, theta, right? And this is called shortened polar form, right? And the R is called your modulus, 
that is called the modulus and the theta is called the argument right you'll see on some websites they call it the mod arg form modulus argument form okay so essentially when you convert between pole and rectangular form you just go through this process each time okay let's have a look at an example so why don't we just take the example from the organ diagram we used before okay so let's have a look at this one the first thing you always do when you want to convert is to draw the diagram that you're going to the, the diagram of the complex number okay so we've done this already if you want to refresh your memory on how to do this please just go and have a look at the video again okay so we want to convert this rectangular form into polar form right so we need to find r and we need to find theta because this is a right angle triangle we can use pythagoras right so pythagoras says that r is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared right so in this case here your x is going to be 2 and your y is going to be 3 Right. And you end up with the square root of 13. Okay. In order to find theta, we want to find this value here. And we can just use the trig function. So these two values you know. If you haven't done R yet, you could even use R if you wanted to. But you can stick to the X and the Y value. Right, and that is going to be, that's y, that's x, so it's going to be opposite over adjacent, which means you're looking at the tan value. So it's going to be tan of theta equals y over x, which in this case is going to be 3 over 2. Right? That means that theta is going to be arc tan of 3 over 2. And the value for that is 56.3 degrees. Okay. Then we've got R and we have theta, which means we can write this in polar form. So then Z is going to be R, which is the square root of 13, times cos 56.3 degrees, plus J sine 56.3 degrees, which is the same as writing it as 13 56.3 degrees okay so that is your modulus and that is the argument of your complex number all right let's try another example let's have a look at the second exercise we did in the argon diagram Right. And if you don't remember how we drew this, please again just go back and have a look at the video on this. So we had the complex number minus 2 plus j. We drew our vector like this. Your direction is going to be from your reference point, which is your horizontal, all the way around to where the vector is. So that is going to be your theta. Yeah? The length of the vector is going to be r. So we want to convert from rectangular to polar form, which means you need to find your modulus and your argument. In order to find your modulus, we use Pythagoras. So r is going to be equal to the square root of, it would be 1 squared 
minus 2 squared 